give your beanie an upgrade with this crocheted cabled hat. We have five sizes all the way from baby, child, and we'll have a teen that we'll make here, a uh, women's size and a men's size. I'm actually going to make the teen one on camera here, uh, but you'll be able to get the pattern and make all the sizes on our website. So you'll click that down below. I'm going to dive right into the supplies you're going to need and teach you all the skills that you need to know to make this crocheted cabled hat. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. All right, let's go over the supplies, the things that you're going to need. First, you need the pattern. You're gonna to wanna to pull that up on another page on your uh, computer or laptop. You wanna download that. If you want the ad-free version, you can get it on Ravelry or Etsy, but down in the video description link below, you can go to our blog and get it for free. So pull that up and have those details ready. We'll go into the specifics on the yarn that you're gonna need. Um, all of these hats, you can work one hat with one ball. Um, you might be able to fit another hat in, but um, it just depends on the size of your uh, yarn ball. These are a bulky five weight yarn and if the yarn gets discontinued or you want to buy it at a different store or whatever that's fine but a five weight yarn is going to be um, the best and um, you're going to want your regular notions like a measuring tape and scissors, tapestry needle for weaving in the ends later. If you want a, sti um, a stitch counter or a row counter you can have one of those or just mark it off on your pattern if you print it off and um, I think that the stitch markers are going to be um, handy when we start shaping the crown. So we have these five sizes. I know you see four here, but we're going to make one on camera. We've got the baby, the child, the teen, which I'm going to make, the women's and the men's. And when they start shaping the top, if you um, have trouble remembering um, uh, where to count, the um, locking stitch markers come in really handy. All right, let's go over the um, hooks. So you need two hooks. One is smaller to work the brim. This is going to be worked from the bottom to the top, from the brim and to the top of the crown, okay? So we're going to be working back and forth in a flat panel, then we're going to join it together. And so we're working that in an H hook, which is a five millimeter. This is a Furls Odyssey hook. You can use whatever hook you like, that's fine. And then we're going to switch up to a six millimeter hook. This is the J from um, Furls Odyssey. Um, again, I'll have the links to all these things in our website uh, on the blog um, I want you to know that um, different brands or manufacturers will say a different letter for the hook sometimes and the while the H five millimeter is pretty universal um, saying a J hook size doesn't always um, is, it's not always the same millimeter so remember this is a six so we're doing a five for the brim and a six for the body okay so gather your supplies I'm gonna go over everything that you need at each step um, one by one on the techniques that you need we're gonna begin with the brim we have a right and left-handed video tutorial available for you so be sure and click down below if you're in the wrong video right now all right let's begin all right, so we do have the five sizes and you wanna make sure and look at the um, circumference or diameter around the hat to pick the one that is going to work best for your head that you're making it for, whether it's a baby or a child or a teen, um, a woman or a man, or the sizes that are relative to that. I would suggest if you are a petite woman or a teen or even just a kid that's not like a toddler or something, you probably wanna look at the teen size. The teen size is going to um, be about as tall as um, this child size here. It's just a little bit wider and my women's size is going to be taller than this. So it's just, it's going to be longer and got a lot more hair than you're going to want to pick the women's size. So the width of the teen is going to be, their circumference is the same as the women's. It's just a little bit more height for the women's, okay? And then the men's is going to be about the same height as the women's, just a little bit taller, and it's gonna be a little wider. So if you have a larger head, you're gonna want that one. Uh, this one is the child size, and um, it's you know more like a toddler size, and then we have our baby size. 
size, which is much smaller. Again, refer to the sizes that are listed. So this pattern has a ribbed look for the brim. You can choose to make one that's double the length so that it can be folded up easily. Um, if you fold this one up, it's going to uh, cover up the, um, the really pretty uh, cable here. So if you want something longer to fold up, then you're going to want to double the number of stitches that we are going to begin by chaining here. So just wanted you to see that first before we start. I am going to go into every stitch along the way, so have no fear. And don't forget, there is a button to slow down um, the playback speed if I'm going too fast, or you can speed it up if it's in an area where I'm talking and you don't want to listen to that. Okay, um, I'm going to grab my yarn. For the brim, we're going to work as a flat panel. We're going to start with a slip knot. I just wrap my yarn around my finger twice, take the back loop over the front and the back loop over the front again, over the tip of my finger for a slip knot. Make it however you like, that's just how I do it. Go ahead and place that on your hook and we are going to chain nine for the non-folding brim. Again, double that if you want a folding brim. So we're gonna chain nine, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure you're working with your smaller hook. I should have reminded you of that. And uh, we're going to start by going into the second chain from the hook and we're gonna single crochet. So this is our first chain. We don't count the hook. This is the first chain from the hook, the second chain from the hook. We're just gonna go into that top little loop there and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through for single crochet. If you need a refresher on the single crochet, we do have a beginner video down below. All right, we're gonna go into the next loop. Oops, I've got a little hair on here, hold on. There we go. All right, next loop, um, pull up a yarn and yarn over, pull through for another single crochet. You're gonna go down the line and so you're gonna have one less um, stitch than you chained. So if you doubled yours, you'll just have one less than that. Okay. Go all the way down. And if you need to slow down this video, there are playback controls on the video. I think it's either a gear button or icon or little <laughs> three little dots. I don't know, but it's on the video player and you can click uh, to control the playback speed to a slower speed or a faster one if I'm talking too much. Okay, so um, we're down at the end here and that was row one. We're gonna turn and work our row two, which is a repeated row. We're gonna be working into the back loop. If you haven't done that before, let's look at it. So if we look at our um, crochet like this, you can see these loops here, and a lot of times you insert into both loops, okay, across the top, and it has that V shape here. We're only gonna go into this back loop here, all right? So we are also not going to chain uh, on this pattern here. We're not chaining one on the brim. I just, it just has a neater look to it. So we're gonna go into um, this first stitch here, um, not the one that's on the hook, but the immediate one that you see. So the first stitch, pull up a loop on that back loop, pull through and single crochet. Go into the next back loop, pull up a loop and single crochet. That's two and we have three four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we have our stitches all the way across and we've done two rows. And um, I wanna take a moment to note that we have the tail on this side and we have, um, if we finished over on this side over here. So take a moment if you have a stitch marker and if you don't, that's okay, but this is gonna help you with counting later. Um, go ahead and go into this little rib that's pronounced, you see it bumps out. Just go place your stitch marker in here and this is gonna help us count, and I'll show you that here in a moment when we get to the end of our brim. Uh, so this is going to be um, the, our right side that we're gonna count on. 
All right, so you're just going to turn and now you're going to, um, whoops, let me turn this way. Now we're going to repeat that uh, again. So we go into the back loop, pull up a loop and yarn over and continue repeating. Now you're gonna want to consult your pattern and see how many of these rows that you're going to do for your size. And um, you can also use this um, and, and work if, if you have a different uh, gauge, that's fine. Um, you can work this um, until it's about two inches short of the circumference that you need. And we'll talk about that in the next part, but go ahead and check um, for the baby. It's 42 rows for the child. It's 60 rows and for the teen and women, it's 68 and for the men's it's 72. But again, that's written on the pattern. Go ahead and continue repeating this going all the way down to the end and repeating until you have that amount of rows. And I will meet you uh, at that point. All right, pause your video and I will see you there. And oh, let me just show you this very last stitch. Oh, yes. Uh, and on the very last stitch, if you have trouble finding it, it's this, okay, if you, let's look at this, you'll see this little bitty part that's kind of falling over here, okay? Just go right into that part. That's that last stitch and pull that up and chain through or pull through and you'll see it's nice and tidy. All right, so continue going on and we will see you soon. All right, so I have created my brim and um, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to measure that and count it. We're gonna stretch it out to where it eases the tension and we can measure it to um, what is written in our pattern. Uh, let's go ahead and count out these ribs. I do wanna show you that um, we have our tail on this side and then we've ended on the opposite end, so that's perfect. We're on the right side. Let's count these ribs. Um, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, uh, 42. So 42 is where the baby size is. Um, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, um, and 60 is where the child size is. Um, 62, 64, 66, 68. Okay, that's the teen and women's size. And then 72 is for the largest size, the men's size. Okay. Um, all right, we're going to connect this. Oh, sorry, we need to measure. So um, you're going to pull out your measuring tape and make sure this is stretched out. And you may have to tug it at the end uh, to make sure you're at that number. And this is 19 when I, or 19 and a half when I stretch it out and look at the pattern for the other numbers, the other sizes. That's gonna get annoying if I keep saying that out loud for you. So uh, here we go. We're gonna connect it. We're gonna place the right side to the uh, right side here. And we're going to uh, pick up our yarn and turn around and start connecting these, okay? So uh, we're gonna go straight through this first set of stitches. We're going through both here. Okay, so first one, and then we're gonna go over here on the back panel or the end and go through those two stitches, okay? And pull through and pull through, and then we're just gonna slip that stitch. So you're not single crocheting or anything, we're just simply slipping these uh, ends together. So go through the next two stitches here or the next set of stitches, and uh, that's on the first panel, and then we're gonna go to the second panel and go through, pull through to slip. Okay, keep going all the way down. Again, pause your video to catch up or slow it down. This last one may be a little hard to see. And if you need to, you can uh, kind of approach it from this end and look at it. All right, I got one piece of it. Let's get both a little snug. There we go. And the last one should be where your tail is. Pull through and slip, all right? So we've completed that and we're going to turn it uh, inside out. So we've got the right side here, got my tail. I can just drop that on the inside and here's my working yarn. And you can see the ridges all look really nice, okay? It looks perfect. So now we wanna switch out our hook to the larger one. 
and we're ready. All right, we have our larger six millimeter hook and let's begin make sure your tail is on the inside and we're going to chain one for round one, the body of the hat. And we're going to half double crochet in here. Now we do have a slower video tutorial on that. If you want that down below, you can look in the video link. We're gonna go into this uh, area in the, this, what I call the valley between the two ribs. Um, before we get to this first rib or ridge, uh, we're going to go in to this stitch here. Now it looks like a single strand on top and then two double strands. That's okay. We're gonna go into this space and we're actually gonna do it twice because we're gonna do a quick increase. So go ahead and yarn over to begin your half double crochet. Go into that space there, pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's one half double crochet. We're gonna do that again in the same space. Yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three for another half double crochet. All right, so we're going to go along, and this is for all sizes, okay? So we're gonna go around and pick up stitches along the top of this river ridge and then one in the valley, so that's it. So just find a spot where you can get at least two strands of yarn on top and pull up a loop. Whoops, I did it again. Let's see, yarn over and then go in to the top of that ridge, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three for a half double. And now we're going to go into the valley yarn over, go into that stitch there, pull up a loop, pull through all three. So you're gonna repeat this um, ridge and valley, or ribbon valley, all throughout until you get about halfway and then you're going to increase again. So um, I'll come along, show you a quick increase and then um, we'll come back to the end of the round. So no matter what size you have, you're gonna have um, this, you're gonna end up having two stitches more than you had on your original um, rows. All right, so um, continue working along, uh, pause your video and I will meet you at that halfway point. All right, see you soon. All right, I'm at the halfway point and um, I've already gotten to this little valley here and I'm just simply going to yarn over and go into that stitch again to increase. That's it, <laughs> just keep going uh, on to the next stitch and uh, you're good. So um, I will meet you back at the end uh, to uh, start on our main stitch pattern. All right, pause your video, I'll see you there. At the end of round one, go ahead and make sure that you have the right stitch count for your size. And if you are off by one, you could just pull back a few, make two in the little valley, and then come back up uh, to the top of this ridge here, and you should be ready to go, because remember we made two in this little valley here. So connect, um, you can slip to join at the top of the um, half double crochet, or you can simply go right here where our chain was, the space here right before that first uh, half double crochet, and pull up a loop, and go through here. We're gonna be working into the first half double crochet as our first stitch. And uh, if you do uh, half double crochet to the top of that, um, it looks like you're going over uh, a complete stitch because you actually will come right into here and you're missing this part here, which is the chain. So you would come here and pull through and then slip and then you'd be working directly into that stitch again. So either one is acceptable. Um, I just wanted you to see how that's done. So if I pull out, let me just show you how to make it right in the side of that again. If you wanna go into the post of that between the two, you pull up and then um, slip to join. I just don't want you to think that that's an actual stitch. And so that's why um, I actually like to um, put them together by going into the top of this half double crochet because you can accidentally count that. So go straight into the top of this half double and slip to join and then you just count that all as one stitch, okay? All right, so we're gonna begin round two and um, we're going to continue half double crocheting. We're going to chain one and we're gonna go into every stitch around. So yarn over and go through each stitch and that's it. There's no increasing, there's no special patterning. Um, just go all the way around and join as we just did. Uh, pause your video and I will meet you uh, at the end of this round. We'll see you soon. All right, we're at the end of the round. We've got one more half double crochet because there's one more stitch here. Pull up a loop and half double crochet and then um, slip to join. So I'm gonna go into the top of this half double crochet 
and I'm missing this one because this was my chain. So we're gonna go through this stitch and pull up a loop and slip to join. Go ahead and check your stitch count. Make sure that you are at the right number for your hat just to make sure. And that's just a good habit because there is some math involved to this when we get to the shaping of the top and also um, when we're working this um, cable pattern. Okay, so we're gonna start our cable pattern. This round, we're gonna be working into the front of the post um, down below. So if you've never seen that before, what we're gonna be doing is going down a couple of rows um, to what lines up with the row that we're going to be creating and we're going to go into the front of this stitch from the, from the front side not from the back side so from the front of this post which is that vertical part that vertical stitch and then come back up with our hook to the front again and then making a stitch there so let's get to it so we first need to chain one to start our round okay and this is uh, round three, just checking my notes here. So half double crochet into this very first stitch and into the next one. So half double crochet once and half double crochet a second time. And now we're ready to go into the front post. See your stitches here, line up down here, you know, in crochet it, it shifts over. So we're not looking at the row below, uh, directly below what we're making, we're going two to rows down. So one, two, so these two line up and then we're gonna be looking at this next stitch here and this next stitch here. So we're going to um, treble crochet into the front post. It's called a front post treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over twice, one, two, and we have a video on how to treble crochet down below if you want a, um, a tutorial on that that's slower. We're gonna insert into this front post and come back up to the front. Take your yarn and yarn over and pull through. Okay, so we're pulling up a loop and we're gonna yarn over and pull through the first two loops, one, two, and we're gonna make a stitch that grows. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two. See it's growing, yarn over and pull through those last two. There we go, so it's nice and tall. We're gonna repeat that on the next one. Yarn over twice, go through the front post and back up, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through the last two. All right, now we are back to our um, half double crochet and we're going to repeat this again. So we need to skip these stitches that were up front. So we're going to half double crochet into the third stitch. So you can see where this one was here. So then we have one, two, and then three. So we're gonna go into this one. I'm going to yarn over to half double crochet, go into that stitch here and yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all three. All right, there we have the beginning of our um, cable. This is what we're doing here. We have our beginning of our cable, and now we're gonna repeat that. So yarn over twice, and we're gonna go into the next uh, stitch. So we're skipping this one here, because that lines up. We're gonna go into the next post, okay? Uh, two rows below, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that grew it. Again, you can um, slow down your video if you need. Yarn over twice, do it again, next stitch. Go through, come up, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and two, and two. So we have three times the height, and now we've met this. We want to um, then establish our half double crochet again. So yarn over, we're gonna go into the third uh, stitch, uh, from the back here. So we've got coming through this stitch here. So we got one, two, and three. So we're gonna go into that third stitch here. There we go, pull up a loop and half double crochet. And we are ready to complete our row. And all you're doing is um, half double crochet all the way around, join it, and I will meet you for round four. See you soon. All right, ending round three, I have one more stitch. And then I'm going to join. So we got this one. There we go. And now we're going to um, round four, chain one, and um, half double crochet into that first stitch. And half double crochet into the next. And 
the remaining stitches. So it's actually just the same as round two. So you're just half double crocheting all the way around. And you'll notice when you get to these, you're working into the top of these stitches. You might see that the one that we did where we skipped along behind and between these posts, um, it might look a little smaller and that's okay. Just go right into that, whether it's a little bit too big or a little too small, that's fine. It'll all even out. Um, and then you'll have this little blank ridges back here. You're not gonna do anything with that. Um, they'll just be on the inside and no one's going to see those. So continue going around, pause your video, and I'll meet you back for round five where we start twisting things up for our cable. See you soon. All right, so I've finished my round four and we're on round five. I've already slipped that stitch and we're going to chain one, half double crochet two times to begin, and then we'll get into our cable. So half double crochet twice, and uh, last time we did um, the FPTR, which is the front post treble, but now we're going to do the FPDTR, which is the front post double treble. So when you see that D in there, that's um, going to be um, one more yarn over that we're doing. So where we yarn over twice before, we're actually gonna yarn over three times here in order to make the double treble. And we're gonna be working into these um, long posts here, these columns. So um, this one is going to be a cable that goes in this direction. If you're watching my right-handed video, it goes to the left. And if you're on the left-handed video, it goes to the right. So it's technically a cable left. Um, the cable right, um, actually you have to kind of go backwards and go underneath um, some of these posts. And so this is the easier version. Whether you're right or left-handed uh, crocheter, you're going to see it in the easiest way possible. I'll have instructions for making that um, cable right as well. Um, and for lefties, it'll look like a cable um, left. So if you want to try a different way, you can, um, but this is the way we're doing it here on this video. All right, so um, you start by yarning over three times, one, two, three. We're gonna go into the post, but we're gonna skip over the first two posts and then this one in between. Go into the um, this one over here, okay? Uh, go into the front of the post, all right? And then pull up a loop. All right, and now we're gonna yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. You can pull down on this post here to get your tension, two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So that looks like the other one before, but because we have an extra loop, we're gonna yarn over and pull through a fourth time, and all the way. So there we go. So we're gonna do that again. Yarn over one, two, three, and we're going into the next one. Yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. All right. Uh, now we need to come back to the ones that we skipped. So um, we do need to establish the um, stitch in between. So we're going to um, come back here. We're gonna yarn over and do the half double crochet in the third stitch over again. Um, like we did before. So this is where we were last time. So that's one, two, three. So we're going into that stitch. So one, two, three, right here, making sure that my um, yarn over is locked in and pull through and yarn over and pull through all three so that we've got a half double crochet established. And now when we make this other one, it's gonna cross over and cover these up and they'll come on this side, okay? So that's why we have to put a half double crochet here. So we're gonna yarn over one, two, three, and then we're gonna twist. I know it's awkward. We're gonna go into the front, um, this side of the post, come to the back and pull up, and then yarn over and pull up a loop. I know it's tight. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Again, I'm pulling down on this post here to help me. Yarn over, pull through two more, and yarn over, pull through the last two. There we go. The next one um, is a little easier because you just did that other one, two, three. Go down to here and pull up. Yarn over, pull up a loop. I know it looks messy. One, uh, two, pull through those two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And whoops, get all the strands. Yarn over, pull through the last two and you've crossed it. Now we want to half double crochet in the third over, 
So we got one, two, we're skipping those two that it lines up down below and coming here and yarn over, pull through all three. One, two, three. Okay, so you've made your first cable. Yay! <laughs> all right, so continue. You're just going to half double crochet all the way around. Join it and I will meet you back up for the repeating instructions. See you soon. All right, way to go. You have completed rounds two through five. That is going to be the repeated section for um, four of the sizes. If you're doing the baby hat, then you can stop there and you're gonna want to um, jump to the part of the video for shape top, where we're gonna be shaping the top and you'll add this decreased part of the cable on once and then we'll complete the end of our hat. But for the other sizes, you're going to need to repeat rounds uh, two through five again until you reach your desired height. Um, you're going to uh, measure from here to here and it's approximately four inches for the baby and you'll go to um, five and a half inches for the uh, child and the teen and you'll go to seven inches on the two larger sizes the men's and women's and then um, go to shape the top so I'm going to show you how to begin um, the rounds so you're going to begin again with round two and you're going to go all the way around um, with a half double crochet so that's pretty simple so um, I'm going to have you pause your video here, come back when you're ready for round three, and I'm gonna show you how to begin because it might be a little harder to see where to go into these front posts to do your front post treble crochet. And then um, you can look back at the other part of the video for the round five so you know how to twist it again. Uh, and then again, when you're ready to um, move on to shape the top, you'll jump to that section. We'll have timestamps down below in the um, comments and in the description so you can just jump to the part you need or look at the chapters. All right, pause your video, work on round two, and I'll meet you back for round three. We'll see you soon. All right, we are at the beginning of round three. I've already gone ahead and put in the two first half double crochets. You know how to do that. So we're gonna do the FPTR, which is a front post treble uh, into um, where we had our cable before. So uh, go ahead and yarn over twice, one, two. And now we want to go to the very first post here and go through the front and the back and up to the front again, yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over twice and go through this post here, which is the very next one. You may have to hunt for it. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You can see those have now lengthened. And now we want to come to the back again, yarn over and half double crochet into the third stitch. So we got one, two, three. So we're going into this one, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through all three. And here we go. We're going to go into these next two. So yarn over twice and go into this post here, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And we do it again, yarn over three times, or I'm sorry, two times, and uh, go through that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. There we go. So we have our cable has now fully twisted and it's elongated, it's gone up the sides, and uh, you're going to continue um, with your half double crochet into the third stitch back here. One, two, three, I'm going into this one, yarn over, pull up a loop, and there we go. So you continue half double crochet across the round, and then when you get to round four, it's the same as round two. So rounds two and four are just simply half double crochet all the way around, and then when you get to uh, round five, again, you will start twisting it again. So um, I do wanna point this out. Do you see how there's a little gap right here? Um, when we get further up and we start making our decreases, we'll actually do something called a decrease right here. And so if it just really bothers you, I'm going to show you right now how you can fix it. We're still going to make it look like there's a stitch right here. Um, this part's not in the pattern, but um, you will see me do this um, when we get to the decreasing rounds um, with rounds three and five. Uh, to kind of place hold. So uh, here, here we go. This is an alternate here. So we're um, we're the second. I'm uh, sorry, the first stitch, the second stitch, and the third. So look at the second and the third. We're gonna do a decrease here. I'm gonna go into this stitch here, yarn over and pull up a loop. And notice I didn't yarn over first, 
and then we're going to go into the third stitch which is the one where we had that half double before yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over pull through all three and then go ahead and do another half double and we're going to set this down okay do you see how it closed that little hole where down here there's a little bit of a hole here so that's a technique that you can do as long as you're finishing on that third stitch there um, it will close that gap a little bit and um, you'll just continue working in the round so when we get to the shape top part you're gonna see me choose different stitches than we've done before which is going to close the gaps but also make sure our cable lines up correctly and because it will start to lean a little bit if we don't start moving some things so all right let's keep going finish out your round and uh, meet me back up when you get to the right length um, for your hat okay we'll see you soon i just want to throw this in here again i'm on round five i'm going to do my cable so i'm going to twist around three times yarn over three times on my hook skip over these first two posts and skip this one so we're going three stitches over and to this next post yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two so that's once and then twice three times and four times yarn over three times go into the next one pull up a loop yarn over pull through once twice three four times and now we want to um, establish our middle post here, yarn over, go into the second loop over, I'm sorry, the third loop over, one, two, three, go into this one and pull through for half double crochet. And now we're gonna twist over to these posts, go loop, um, yarn over three times and come to the very first one, come up, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's once, twice, three times, and four. And do again, one, two, three. Go to this post here, the next one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through once, twice, three times a lady, <laughs> and four. And now we want to um, finish out that next part. So you go into the third stitch over, uh, one, two, three and you do the half double crochet here, or you can do the, um, into the second and third stitch a decrease. So one, pull up a loop, two, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through those, so it's nice and tight. And then we're going to uh, half double crochet throughout the round, okay? And then you be done with your repeat for all the sizes except for the two larger uh, women's and men's size. You'll have, you'll have another set of repeats um, around two through three for those other ones. All right, so continue going on and I'll meet you back up to shape the top. See you soon. Shape the top. So this is where we are taking the top and we're shaping it, we're reducing or decreasing the stitches. So you see I've got some stitch markers here. This is where they're gonna come in handy. If you have the baby size, three stitch markers is appropriate. If you have the men's size, um, just one is appropriate or you may not need one at all. And then for the other sizes, you're gonna want five of them. So you will want to refer to your pattern. Um, I don't wanna try and make it confusing, but I am gonna give instructions for all five on here. So um, here we go. So we're going to start our round by chaining one and we're going to half double crochet in the next seven stitches. So I'm going to go into the first one and half double crochet once and then keep going for seven stitches. This is for all sizes. So two, three, four, whoops. five, six, and seven. Okay, so now we're going to uh, decrease one. To decrease, you're going to, uh, don't, yarn, don't yarn over, but uh, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop, and then go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. So we're taking two stitches down to one and we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And there we go, so we've decreased once. Now we're going to repeat that and that's where our stitch markers come in. So every time you repeat it and you make a decrease, I want you to place a stitch marker there. Don't count this one. Uh, the instructions tell you how many times to count it. So we're gonna repeat um, from that um, <clears throat> asterisk in the pattern, uh, which is HDC or half double crochet in the next seven stitches. So let's go ahead and do that. 
once. And I'm going to say two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now we're going to decrease again. So go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through three and go ahead and mark that. Okay, so this is our uh, first of those repeats. So we're gonna repeat that and the pattern says, um, repeat it three times for the baby, five times for the next three sizes and then one time um, only for the um, the largest or the men's size. So this would be the only time you see it on the men's. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, so you've already done that. And then you would just half double crochet for the rest of the pattern. So for the other sizes, you're gonna continue going seven stitches and then doing your repeat again, okay? So once you see um, the number of um, stitch markers that you need starting here um, for your repeat, then you would just stitch all the way to the end. You don't have to count and complete half double crochets and close out that round. So go ahead and do that. Pause your video. I'll meet you back up for round seven. See you soon. All right, I've completed mine and I've um, decreased my stitches. I have my five stitch markers in here for my size. And you'll notice with all of the stitch counts, um, if you count them, your stitch count should be divisible by eight. And if it's you've got one extra at the end, you could just do a quick decrease and you should be fine. So um, that's another way to um, kind of uh, adjust your stitches if you need to make a small decrease at the end, that's, that's okay. So um, you can take those out or you can leave them in and, and move them around later. Um, but the stitch markers will come handy, come in handy um, for the remainder of the pattern uh, to move around and make sure you have the right amount of decreases. So that's the only row where I've written it that way. So let's begin now on the next round, which is um, round seven. So we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches and we're going to front post treble in those to make them longer. So uh, this is kind of like a round three. So chain one and half double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and we're gonna front post treble crochet. So we wrap our yarn around, uh, yarn over twice, and we're gonna go in this very first post and yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that again, wrap around twice, grab that next post, yarn over, wrap around two, two, and two. There we go. Okay, so uh, this one is going to change a little bit. We're going to decrease into the second and third uh, skip stitches. So come back here, you can see that you were into this stitch last. We're gonna go into, uh, here's the first, and we're gonna go into the second and third and decrease. So we're just gonna insert into the second and yarn over, pull up a loop, and insert, insert into the third stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three. And now we're going to uh, treble crochet, front post treble crochet into this post here. So yarn over twice and go into the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and repeat, yarn over twice, go into the post, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two more. Okay, we're gonna do another decrease into the second and third skip stitches. So come down here. We were in uh, this one last. So here's one and then we're going to the second one and yarn over and pull up a loop and go into the third, do the same, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. All right, so now we've decreased and we're going to half double crochet um, twice. So, um, uh, half double crochet into the next stitch. One, oops, and two. 
um, and that is for the um, baby hat. So for the baby hat, you're going to half double crochet twice and then decrease. For the child, you're actually going to half double crochet four times and then decrease. And then for the uh, women's and teen sizes, it's five times and then seven for the men's. So look at your pattern, your half double crocheting and then decreasing. So on this one, on the teen hat or women's, we're um, half double crocheting um, five times. So I got one, two, and then we're gonna do three, four, and five. And now we're going to decrease. So insert uh, into the stitch, pull up a loop, insert in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through there, okay? And then um, keep repeating that. So you're going to half double crochet the number of times uh, that your pattern reads for your size and then decrease. You're gonna repeat that all the way around and join your round. So we will be decreasing our stitch count by eight this time, okay? So pause your video. I will meet you back up for the end of round seven going into round eight. See you soon. Psst. Okay, here's my tip. <laughs> so. I'm still on the round, but I wanna show you what you can do with your stitch markers here to keep up. So if you want to, in advance of counting your stitches and marking them so you know where to do the decrease, you can actually say, okay, my pattern says that I'm going to half double crochet five times and then I need a decrease. So what I've done is I've gone, okay, I'm gonna do, let's see, where am I? Uh, my decrease was here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, and then a decrease. So my decrease is um, marked. Okay, so, well, I've already done it, so I'm just gonna mark it here like this. But what I've done, forget it, I'm gonna take that out. But what I did do is, so I'm gonna do five again. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then I know I'm gonna have these two together. So I actually just go through the last two here and clip it. And then I know that um, I'm gonna work up until one before that stitch marker and I'm gonna decrease those two together. And then I'll come along and I'll say one, two, three, four, five. And then I have those two together. So then I'm going to put my stitch marker in here and come all the way around. And then that way our last one should be um, this very last stitch here. And you can check your count before you even actually crochet so you don't screw up, <laughs> right? And you maintain your correct stitch count. So that's a quick little tip. All right, go on, keep going. We'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm ending this round and I've got um, one more uh, decrease here. I've removed all my stitch markers and should have a decrease as your very last stitch. Okay, and go ahead and slip to join. And we're now going to begin round eight. We're going to um, chain one and we will half double crochet all the way around again and decrease similar as we did before. So everybody's the same except for the baby size. So if you're the baby size, you're going to do it three times. And um, if you're um, the others, um, you're gonna do it four times um, for child of five for teen and women and seven for men's. So, and then we're gonna decrease. So you can do my little trick again where you mark your number. So you count out your number, one, two, three, four, five for this, this hat size. And then I'm gonna have a decrease. So I'm gonna mark mine right here. And then I'm gonna count it again. One, two, three, four, five, and then my decrease. Did I count that right? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then there's my decrease. So you can mark yours and continue working all the way in the round for round eight. And we're gonna decrease our number again down um, by eight stitches again. And then the next round, we're actually going to be um, twisting it again in our last cable. All right, pause your video. I will see you there. Okay, so we are on round nine and we will not decrease stitches on this round. Also, it is completely different than the other rounds. Um, so pay attention here. So this is like our round fives where we've um, crossed our cable, um, but we're gonna only begin with a chain one and one HDC. So only one half double crochet 
okay? And then we're going to begin um, crossing these. So we're going to uh, yarn over one, two, three times and cross all the way over to uh, this third uh, post here. Make sure you're going here and not the cross part. So right here, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. We do it two, three, and four times. And then the last one, one, two, three, go in here, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And then, um, let's see, I'm looking at my directions here. So we're going to um, uh, HTC in the second skip stitch. So just come back here, yarn over, we're going to skip this one and we're going to go, let's see, that's one and two. So we're half double crocheting into this one only and pull through. Okay. And now we're going to um, front post double treble again. So yarn over three times and twist and go to this part here, this first post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. One more, so yarn over three times, go to this front post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and last two, okay? And then uh, let's see, I'm gonna look at my notes again, and we're working into um, a decrease into the second skip stitch. So this one's just completely different. So. Um, we're gonna go, that's the one and then the two. So we're going into the second one. So our decreases go in, pull up a loop, and then we're going to the next one. Go in, pull up a loop and decrease right there, okay? And then now we're just going to half double crochet around the entire, um, the entire uh, round. So when you come back to the end of this round, you should maintain your stitch count that you had before. So double check that. Uh, and I will meet you back for round 10 after that. Pause the video and I'll see you soon. All right, we are on round 10. Of course, your stitch count did not change from that round. And now we are going to uh, continue our decreasing. Um, all the remaining rows will or rounds will decrease. So uh, be sure and look at your pattern for your size. We're gonna start with a chain one and we're going to half double crochet uh, into that first stitch and then decrease if you are the baby size. Um, and if you are the, um, the child size, you're going to a half double crochet three times and then decrease. If you are the um, teen, which is this one, or the women's, you're gonna do it four times and then decrease. And if you are the men's, you're going to do it five times and then decrease. So you can um, start setting up your stitch markers. So I've got, let's see, one, two, let's do the one for the teen, oops, two, three and four and we have our decrease so that's right here so that's our decrease and that's the first one and so I'm gonna go ahead and mark the rest of these so um, mine for this one is four so we're gonna have one two three four I'm gonna skip this one and mark the next one so that's where my next decrease will happen and then I'm gonna mark the next one and um, pop that in so we have one two three four skip that and put that in and just continue all the way around. Um, and then your stitch count should reduce again or decrease again by eight, all right? So continue that repeat, pause your video, I'll meet you back for round 11, see you soon. Okay, so round 11, now if you have the baby hat, you should have uh, 16 stitches left and um, you can, now, your baby's not gonna have a messy bun, but once you get down on any of these, down to 16 stitches, you could finish it off at 16 for a messy bun hat. And so if you wanna jump to that point in the video when we are at 16 for one of these other sizes, then um, you can do that and look at that, But um, and I'll remind you. But I just wanted to point that out to you. You'll be at 16 for this size hat, and for the um, child size, you should have 
um, 32 stitches and for the teen and the women's it'll be 40 and then for the larger men's size it will be um, 48 stitches so that's where you are beginning round 11 we're going to um, half double crochet uh, a number of stitches and then decrease again now for the baby hat you're not going to actually half double crochet at all you're just going to be decreasing all of your stitches all the way around so once you reach your 16 on all the patterns you're just simply going to be decreasing so if the pattern says says X on it, HDC X, just skip that part and move on to the decrease. So for um, the child size, you're going to half double crochet two. For the next two sizes up, it's going to be three, which is mine here. So I'm gonna go one, uh, half double crochet. So I chained one. So I, and let's do one half double, two, and three and then decrease and you'll do one more if you have a um, uh, men's hat. So you'll have double crochet four times and then decrease, all right? So that is my repeat and then I can use my stitch markers to mark that out. And if you're marking every time um, and you have um, eight stitch markers, you'll find that you can count that you had eight all the way around and then pull out your stitch markers and you know that you decreased properly. All right, so um, go ahead and continue round 11. Pause your video, I'll meet you back up for round 12. See you soon. Okay, so if you have the baby size, you're ready to move on to finishing, so jump to that part of the pattern. And uh, for the rest of us on the child size, you're going to begin round 12 with the half double crochet and uh, so chain one and then half double crochet one time and then decrease and that's your repeat but for the teen and the um, women's you're actually not going to half double crochet at all because we have 32 stitches and we're going to decrease that um, and just cut that number into half to get to 16 stitches so you're just going to be decreasing every stitch all along okay so two into one if you have the end size you're going to half double crochet three times and then decrease so that's your repeat all right so when we come back um we'll be there and you'll have um 16 stitches for the child teen and women's and then 32 stitches for the men at the end of this round okay all right so um, go ahead and move on i'm just going to show you visually i'm decreasing mine for the teen or the women's size once and the next one and I literally just do every single stitch this way just so you can see what it looks like on around where you're decreasing so all right continue that uh, pause your video I'll meet you back for round 13 see you soon all right we're at the end of the round and um, we've got 16 stitches here um, unless you have a men's hat and um, when I finish here, it looks a little different. It looks like, well, where's the end of this round? It's actually over here. Okay, so this is that um, first part of the decrease. So we're gonna slip to that. All right, and so now we're ready. Um, if you have a, if you wanna do a messy bun or a ponytail hat, you can leave it open. So you would just clip this and pull through and then weave in your tail here and then weave in your tail and you're done. Um, but if you want to, whoops, sorry. Uh, if you wanna close this off, um, then you're going to decrease it again. So this next round, you're going to uh, chain one and decrease just as you did the other round and then we'll go into finishing. If you have a men's hat, um, you are going to um, also do that, but you're actually gonna do it two more rounds until you get eight stitches. So I think you can follow the directions for round 13 and 14 if you have a men's hat, but if you have a child's hat, um, you're just gonna be uh, decreasing this round here on round 13 um, one more time, and then you're gonna be moving on to finishing. So um, let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna chain one, and we're going to decrease. and then decrease again, decrease again, keep going. If you need to count in your head to you, that you know you did eight, that's fine. I still have my stitch marker on the beginning of my round, so it's a little easier for me to kind of gauge and say, oh, I've gotten there. <laughs> So there will be a little bit of a hole at the top of our hat, and then we'll need to close that in using our tapestry needle. All right, there is my stitch marker, and we're gonna go ahead and close that in. Last stitch. Okay. 
There we go. All right, so you can pull out a nice long tail. And if you have the men's, um, then go ahead and uh, do one more round until you get there. Clip that, pull it through. I'm gonna grab my uh, tapestry needle and thread it. And actually, let me get another um, needle so you can see it better. Okay, I got a brighter uh, needle or one that you can see a little bit better. So this one has a little clear eyelet on the end, so it's easy to grab when I'm doing this for color. Okay, so I'm coming out of this part here. So I want to go into all of my stitches on the end. So I'm just going to go through this one. I got one, and I'm coming uh, into the middle and coming up. Uh, through the front, so inside, outside, so that's two, three, four, oh, let me throw that again, five, six, did I do? There we go. There's six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now we've got that and we want to pull it tight and it's just a nice little drawstring. And then we just take our needle and push it back through to the other side and turn it inside out and weave in our ends. So I just come along and pick up stitches again and go through a few more times. You can loop through one, leave a loop, and then pull it through again to have a little knot there. Whatever you like, go through the stitches. And I just like to have extra tail through here just for good measure. So I'm gonna do another one where I have a loop and then pull it through, pull it tight, and then clip off the remaining. And then now we have this tail here. You can see where our um, inside of where our cable is and our ends of our rounds. Go ahead and weave through with your tapestry needle. So I go ahead and go through a couple of these and even come down this inside of what looks like the rib. This is kind of what I do on knitting. I go down the rib as well, and then maybe come back up again. I, sh I should have cut this a little bit longer. I like a longer uh, tail here. So just gonna work my way back up and then trim my tail, and I am done on my pattern. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this pattern. Let me know the comments down below. Here is my teen hat. We can take this off. Teen or, or larger uh, child head. <laughs> so we have that and um, it's just a simple double crochet or half double crochet hat all around um, with that beautiful little cable. And you've got your family, whoops, sorry. You got your family of hats here. Yay! so fun and cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure and comment down below. Subscribe if you like this video and give it a like. It really helps me out. Have a great day and happy crochet. Bye everyone. Thanks for joining us today where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.